Welcome again to the top nine world's elite stories, where future elites and entrepreneurs come to get the news, the facts, and be inspired. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe and notification buttons to get more of the best secret and innovative content and documentaries on the top nine most powerful empires and dynasties in the top nine global industries ever considered as we enter the fourth digital industrial revolution. Who are the top global empires? The people too cool for school. In this segment, we enter our new playlist of the world's most powerful global companies in internet, new technology, and telecom. In at number nine is Steve Ballmer. The self-made billionaire who became CEO of Microsoft in 2000, after his friend Bill Gates stepped down, grew the company by 294%, increasing profits by 181%, making him of course very wealthy. With a whopping 2018 net worth of $30.8 billion, his wealth having increased by $4.18 billion in the last year alone. His main venture now is the NBA franchise in which a two billion deal he signed bought him the Los Angeles Clippers. Number eight, Ma Huatang. This 45 year old billionaire from China founded China's largest internet portal, Tencent Holdings in 1989. When he was 26, he has one of the world's largest websites a mobile texting service, WeChat, with over 900 million users. Mars wealth in the last year alone has increased by 10.3 billion, and his personal fortune is calculated at a vast $31.7 billion. Next, in at number seven, is Jack Ma, the richest person in China with a net worth of 43.9 billion. Jack Ma's self-made empire was started in 1988 with China's first internet company, China Yellow Pages. He lost control of that company in 1996 to a state-owned telecom and started Alibaba in 1990 with just $60,000. This e-commerce company broke records with a $25 billion initial public offering, the world's largest, just 15 years after its inception. This year, Mars Wealth has risen by an astronomical $10.5 billion. Number six, sees the 43-year-old Sergey Brin. This United States co-founder of Google, now has a staggering 48.6 billion fortune. Google, now under a holding company called Alphabet, is run by Brin as president and Larry Page as CEO. Two other companies under the Alphabet umbrella are Nest and Google X. Brin, an immigrant who came from Moscow when he was a child, met Page in 1995 at Stanford, where they were each pursuing a PhD. Three years later, founding Google, one of the most powerful companies on the planet. The last year has seen Sergey Brin's wealth grow by a further $7.62 billion. In at number five, and not shy of a few bob either, with a massive fortune of $49 billion, is the next self-made Google founder, Larry Page. Teaming up with classmate Sergey Brin to create Backrub, an early search engine, the project would eventually morph into what we now know as Google, 
which is now called Alphabet, one of the largest and most far-reaching companies on the globe. Page, not known for his flashy purchases, has a yacht and is an alternative energy advocate, owning an eco-friendly mansion in Palo Alto that uses geothermal energy and rainwater capture. This avid kite boarder has seen an increase in his net worth this year to the tune of $8.5 billion. Hitting the number four spot is Larry Ellison. This 72-year-old self-made billionaire in 1977 teamed up with two colleagues from an electronics company to start a programming business, which quickly landed a CIA contract to build relational database management systems under the project codename Oracle. This evolved into the Oracle Corporation, which last year alone produced 37 billion in revenue. Reducing his salary in 2010 from $1 million to $1. He stepped down in 2014 as CEO and is a generous philanthropist, partnering with many wildlife conservation groups and researchers in the areas of aging and global infectious diseases. He is also a member of Bill Gates and Warren Buffett's Giving Pledge, committing to give away at least half of his fortune. Holding the illustrious number three position is Mark Zuckerberg. At 30, the Facebook founder already has a staggering 71.5 billion fortune. In 2004, this then 19-year-old Harvard sophomore launched the Facebook.com, the rudimentary version of the now global Facebook, a platform which attracts 2 billion daily users and is worth 480 billion. Zuckerberg is by far the youngest of the 50 richest people in the world. In December 2015, he and wife Priscilla Chan pledged to give away a large portion of their wealth. Zuckerberg has donated 25 million in the fight against Ebola and they have given a hundred million dollars worth of shares to help improve the Newark public school system. At the lofty spot of number two is Bill Gates, the world's former richest man. The Microsoft co-founder and technology tycoon at the last count was worth 90.8 billion, founding Microsoft at just 20 with childhood friend Paul Allen. Months before his 31st birthday, the company went public, making him a billionaire. No longer actively involved in Microsoft, Gates held the title of the world's richest man between May 2013 and July 2017. Together with wife Melinda, they run the Melinda Gates Foundation, one of the most powerful charities in the world, which controls an endowment of more than 40 billion, aiming to take millions of people out of poverty. Also to eliminate HIV, malaria, and other infectious diseases. He is also co-founder of The Giving Pledge, which he launched with good friend Warren Buffett. The pledge now counts Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk among its members. Amazing. Gentlemen, we salute you in these future most precious of endeavors. And at number one, and top of the pile, is the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, age 53. And now, with a net worth of a calculated 124.3 billion. Who first spent time on Wall Street and then founded Amazon.com 
in the garage of the Seattle home in 1994. Was then operating exclusively as an online book retailer. The company went public three years later and has since become the world's largest online retailer. He owns a private space company, Blue Origin, who successfully launched its first spacecraft in 2015. He also owns the Washington Post. I'm Stephen Gillen. I hope you enjoyed our top nine. Make sure to subscribe to see documentaries on all the above and check out our channel for innovative video creation and the best content and documentaries on the world's most powerful people as we unravel the histories, the secrets, the methods and strategies of the top nine business empires and dynasties in the top nine global industries.